let's look at a few keyboard shortcuts for navigating around applications on your Mac. So first one is pretty important, I suppose. So I'm in the application here called Writer, and I want to make a new document, so I'm going to press Command N. That will make a new thing. So let's just type some text in here. Blurg. So I've made my new thing, so I can press Command S to save it. So I'll just put it on my desktop. Blurg. Oh, if I can spell it. So Command S will save it. Now if I um, blurg blob, put some more text in here, press Command S again, that will save it again. Now if I'm done writing this, or working on this document, I can, and I want to close the window, I can press Command W. That will close the window. But you can see here I'm still running the application, and I'm still, it's got a little dot down here, that means that it's still running. So maybe I want to open that file back up. I'm going to press Command O. Here it is here. And you can navigate around this panel using the arrow keys. As soon as I found the one that I want, I'm going to press Enter or Return to open it up. So I'm working within this one application. Let's say I want to go to another application. If I press Command Tab quickly like this, it'll go to the application that I used previously. So I was using Chrome previously. So maybe I'll go like this to move back to Writer or back to Chrome, back and forth. Now if I press Hold Command and press Tab but keep holding Command down, I get this little navigator and I can sort of go through and choose what application I want to get to. So maybe I could say I want to get to Finder. So I do that and that would open Finder for me. So now I, I'm manipulating Finder or I can press Tab uh, command tab again and let's go back to Chrome. So pressing it quickly will go back to the application you used most recently, but if you hold the command key you can sort of choose which application you want to go to. Now a couple final things here. One is if I'm in an application like I'm in IA Writer and I'm completely done using the application, I don't want it running anymore, I'm going to press command Q and that completely closes the application. You can see it doesn't have that little dot under it anymore. And if I go to Command Tab, you can see it's not listed in here anymore because that application isn't running. The cool thing also about this Command Tab is if I hover, if I select an application in here like Messages and I, I'm still holding Command Remember, remember and I press Q, it will quit that application in the background. So I can go like this and I can go through these applications that I don't want and I can quit them in the background. And one more thing is while I'm still holding command, if I press H on top of this application, it will completely hide it. So it's still running, but it's in the background. So there are a bunch of shortcuts to help you get around the applications on your computer. There's one more that I missed kind of, and that's say I have, um, oops. Let's say I have two of these windows open. It's another one right here. Window two. To get between, so if I go like this and I navigate to Chrome and then go back, it will keep me on the same window that I was on last time in the application. But if I wanted to get to the blurg blob window, to get there, I can't use Command Tab because that's switching applications. What I would use instead is Command, um, back tick tilde, the key above tab. So pressing that will allow me to change windows within the application that I'm currently in. So command tab changes applications, command tilde changes windows within that application. There is a couple keyboard shortcuts in the uh, open slash save dialog that I forgot to show you. So let me trigger that dialog here. So in this dialog here, you can see there are multiple buttons. So I love this button right here. This is gonna open this sort of bigger view to see everything, I always do that. But down here we have these buttons. There's new folder, don't save, cancel, and save. So save, since it's the blue button, that will get triggered when you hit return. That's no matter where you are, if you hit return, it's going to trigger save. The cancel button, or to just hide this window, is all you have to do is press escape that window will go away. Now, 
a couple others, this new folder button here, if you wanted to trigger that, you can press Command Shift N anywhere in this window and it will make a new folder like this and it will automatically put you into that folder here. So if you press save, it would go into there. And the last shortcut that I want to show you when we're in this dialog is the don't save button. In order to trigger the don't save button, you would press command delete and that would trigger the don't save button. So all of those buttons across the bottom of the open dialog and the save dialog, we have access to all of those using the keyboard shortcuts.